Alright guys, um, hi, hello. Um, I'm going to discuss and review the um, the week and, and how I had predicted it and where I, uh, you know, unfortunately guys, where I got it wrong. So every Sunday or Saturday, uh, I'm going to come out with a week ahead video and at least talk about the NASDAQ and about the week ahead on the NASDAQ. Unless I've made a bunch of money and I'm going on vacation and, you know, in which case I won't. Um, but in any event, guys, this week, um, if you go back and watch my video, you'll hear me say that I thought we were going to draw back down to the mean threshold of this black candle here. Uh, clearly, guys, we did not do that. Um, we found immediate support on this one week fair value gap. And we did most of the movement. As you can see, most of the movement actually happened on Friday. So ICT was basically right for saying that. Um, so. He didn't have a bias going into Monday, and guys, this is why ICT is the best. This is why you have to listen to ICT because he said, "Don't have a bias coming in Monday." And look at the look at the candle that Monday printed. Um, so, you know, um, I think that kind of what I missed, guys, on the weekly chart, I missed the possibility that, that price was just going to find immediate support on this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, and you know, it would appear to me now that you know the market is going to draw up to this sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency here um how quickly the market wants to do that uh i don't know but i you know right now my thinking would be that that high at 16,062 spot 75 might be in the crosshairs however you know and i'm going to talk more about this in the week ahead video notice that we're on the 50 percent um we're on the 50 percent of this long wick and price did on the weekly chart show show a bit of resistance there so it is possible that we come back down to the mean threshold next week of the black candle that we made um, in last week's trading um, but ICT was right not to have a bias going in on Monday um, I was sell side biased I I got it wrong guys I thought that the market was going to draw back down into this uh, black candle this order block it did not do that now did I end up doing well this week? Well, yeah, my account is up 7K, so it's okay. Like, I'll probably get funded next week if, as long as I'm staying patient and staying disciplined and trading when I should trade. Um, then, Lord willing, we'll, we'll be funded next week, so it's fine. But, yeah, I got my weekly bias incorrect. I thought we were drawing to sell side. We clearly did the polar opposite of that and, and drew higher. So, in the week ahead video, I'll talk more about... Um, I'll talk more about what I think that, you know, next week is going to look like. Looking at looking at this week, yeah, guys, I thought we were gonna draw we were gonna draw down to at least fifteen thousand four thirty seven, but the market came back and traded instead. What I missed is that we traded into this sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency here. See that? So I missed that. Monday's trading was pretty indecisive. Tuesday's trading was a big green candle. Wednesday's trading was a was a decent sized black candle. Thursday's trading was a large. Uh, we ended up almost re-delivering that sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency. Or did we re-deliver it? Low of that candle is fifteen thousand nine eleven twenty five. The high of that candle is fifteen thousand nine hundred four. So we almost re-delivered it, and now it does look like we're you know at least coming up to the low of that black candle at nine eleven spot two five. I'd have to imagine we're at least going to go tag that. So. I got it wrong in last week's week ahead. And guys, that's why you can't follow me for financial advice. I'm a day trader, not a guru. Uh, Michael is the guru. I am not the guru. ICT is the guru. I am not the guru. I'm a student. So you're going to hear me make calls on the week ahead that are just frankly wrong. And yeah, I got this one wrong. Um, but uh, anyways, guys, this has been a review of last week's prediction. I got it wrong. Okay? I got it wrong. Um, doesn't... Does it matter? No. But, you know, this is why you can't copy trade me, guys. And you can't, like, you can't, you got to listen to Michael. You got to listen to Inner Circle Trader. You can't just listen to me. I mean, watch my stuff. Obviously, I want you to watch my stuff. But uh, you will, you will, you will see me get, you know, get some things wrong. So, anyways, guys, the Michael was right. Monday, Monday's trading should, it was um, a no bias, was a no bias sort of scenario. So, anyways, uh, this is, this is, um, a review of last week's week ahead where I got it wrong. I thought we were drawing down to sell side. We drew up to buy side. 
We drew up to this immediate sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. I did not expect the market to do that. I expected the market to draw down to like, let's say, you know, the, the consequent encroachment of this BISC at least, like 15,353. That's what I was expecting. I got it wrong. So, you know, with that being said, I was sell side biased. The market was really going into Monday, a no bias sort of situation. So, all right, guys, that's, I'm going to leave you with that. Bye-bye.